Hi, Glenn and Lou. It's no secret that Los Angeles is very expensive and a lot of people are fleeing the city as well as the state. And because of that, education is being affected. And at a school like where I'm at, Trinity Street Elementary, is in danger of closing. The student population has dramatically dropped. In 2002, there were 1,800 students enrolled. Today, there are only 259. LAUSD officials have already sent a letter to parents saying, that as difficult as the decision is, they're not going to be able to operate at this site anymore. As you probably know, state funding is based on the number of kids in the classroom, and if enrollment is too low, it's not cost effective. This is a problem that's happening all across California, and several factors are involved aside from people just leaving the state due to high costs of living. Birth rates are declining. The pandemic played a part, and more kids are attending charter schools. For LAUSD, where 20 years ago the main issue was overcrowding in the classrooms, the district has seen a 40% drop in the number of students. In 2003, there were 747,000 students enrolled. Today, there are around 437,000, and it's predicted to go below 400 for the 2023 school year. It's also worth mentioning how a two bedroom apartment in Los Angeles used to rent for about $1,100 in 2005, and today it costs double that. LAUSD officials are also closing Pio Pico Middle School and sending its students to nearby schools. On the west side, some magnet schools might have to merge as well. And up in Oakland, seven schools are closing there. But here at Trinity Elementary, parents are panicking because the plan going forward isn't clear. LAUSD is also being vague, saying it will announce more information sometime in the future, but that the school will still remain open, at least for next year. I spoke with the principal inside. He said he was not authorized to speak on the issue with me. And back out here live, if you are familiar with this area, Trinity shared a campus with an arts and dance focused school. It's called Gabriella Carter and their population is growing. So there's a chance that they might take over the school building here, but no decision has been decided yet. We'll keep you posted, but for now reporting live in South LA, I'm Courtney Friel, KTLA 5 News.